Hi, I'm Christian and in this video I'm going to show you how to sell digital products on Shopify. That's right, you can easily sell digital items, courses or ebooks on your very own Shopify store and stop paying those high Etsy fees. And if you stay till the end, I'll show you the way I do product research in order to find digital product ideas. You won't want to miss that. The first thing you will have to do is go and get a Shopify store. If you don't have one yet, go in the description of this video. I will have there the best deal you can get at the moment. And after creating your Shopify store, you'll probably see something like this. This is the Shopify's dashboard. So in order to sell digital products on Shopify, we will have to go through the process of creating a product as you would do with a physical product. And then we will have to install an app that will ensure that our digital item will be automatically delivered to the customer once they buy it. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to create a new entry in my product catalog here. So I'm going to go to products and add product and I'm going to fill the information up as I would do with a normal physical product. Let's say we want to sell a financial planner. I'm going to just add there the title. Now I'm going to add a description. I'm going to upload an image for my listing. You can easily go on Canva and you can create images like this for your digital items. So once you have these in place, you want to go and add your pricing. So I'm going to say here my product will cost four euros and it's discounted from eight euros, right? So it's half price at the moment. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to deselect this checkbox here, track quantity. Being a digital product doesn't require us to actually track the quantity of items. So unless you're selling a limited edition product, you can just deselect this. You can also go down below and deselect this one as well, because this is not a physical product. With digital products, usually we don't have variants, but if you do have variants, you can set them here. So you can add a new variant, which would say type, and we can add that here. PDF and Excel and then you hit done and now you have two variants for this product then you can go here and add tags if you want you can say PDF or let's say not PDF but planner maybe have multiple types of products in your catalog and planner may be one of them and then you can go and say here type planner if you want you don't have to do this thing so the tag and the type but the, it's always good to have ways to sort through uh, products we have in our catalogs. You can add it to a collection if you have a planner collection, for example, or if you have a collection in which this product fits. And then you're just going to save. So after saving this, we have our product. We can go ahead and preview it. But the problem is that if someone buys it now and we don't have the digital downloads app installed, the app that would actually deliver this item to the customer, they will pay and they will get nothing in return so we will go now and we will install and set up the digital downloads app so to do that we're gonna head to the Shopify's app store in here in apps you're gonna go here to apps and sales channels and here you're gonna click on Shopify app store and you're gonna search for digital downloads. While many of these apps can do this job, we're gonna go with the digital downloads app by Shopify because it's free and it does everything we need. But if you have special requirements, you can take a look at FileMonk or you can take a look at other well-rated apps that you can find in this list here. But in my case, I'm gonna just install this one here. So I'm gonna hit install. Then I'm going to see this screen here and I'm going to hit install again. So this is the dashboard of the app. It's very simple and straightforward. We have here the products. So if I would have more products on my store, they would be listed here. But because I just have this one, here it is. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to click on add files. And on this screen, I can actually upload files, but make sure that your files are up to five gigabytes because this is the limit of the app. Again, if you need to deliver larger files, then you can look into other apps. So as you can see, because this product has two variants, it has two fields where you can upload files. This is the PDF version and this is the Excel version. So I'm going to click add file and I'm going to select the particular version of that digital product. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to upload the same zip file for both of them, but you get the idea. So if you would have two different variants, you would have to add two different files. 
So after you've uploaded your files, you're gonna just save and your digital product is up and ready to be purchased. And if you want to customize a little bit the experience, you can go to settings here. You have a couple of options. You can edit your email templates in here. This is the first email they will get. And this is the email they will get whenever you're gonna update the file, if you're gonna ever do that. So you can go ahead and edit the wording in there. And here you have a checkout preview. But from my experience, these two blocks with the download now link don't show on the thank you page until you set them up so in order to add them on the thank you page I'm gonna go to customize and in here I'm gonna hit again customize here and I'm gonna go to to this view here and I'm gonna go to apps and I'm gonna have the app right here and I'm gonna click on this plus and then I'm gonna select thank you this is the thank you page you can add it also on the order status page so now we have the app added here on top of this so actually it should after saving this it should show up so the button should show up here below the thank you augustine it shows here the tick so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna add this to the order status page as well they already added the links here at the top but they are kind of out of place so you can click on this arrow here and it's going to send this block to the next available place and this looks much much better so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna test it so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add one of these products to my cart I'm going to check out with it so after adding all that information I'm gonna review the order and I'm going to say pay now and see how the thank you page looks like and as you can see here we have preparing your downloads this may take a few minutes if the customer chooses to wait this will be populated with a download link and here it is so they can just click on download now and they will get their file right there on the thank you page but they will also get an email and they will be able to get the file there an email that looks something like this with the link there so they will click on that and that will send them to the store and on the store they will have this download now link and clicking this will actually trigger the download so this is how you actually set up and deliver digital products using Shopify and now as promised I'm going to show you the way I'm doing product research in order to find profitable digital products to sell and to do that I'm using a tool named Everbee I'm pretty sure you've heard about it this was built for Etsy and with the Etsy sellers in mind because Etsy has an enormous product catalog we can actually go and sort their products sort their sellers and find niches and products that we might want to get inspired from and replicate on our Shopify stores. If you want to follow along, go in the description of this video and get Everbee. Once you have the Chrome extension installed, just go to Etsy. And because you have that Chrome extension installed, now you're gonna see this sidebar, which will give you access to a lot of information. So first we're gonna click on product analytics and here you're gonna see the entire Etsy catalog by clicking on this button here. Now these are all the products that they sell and because they are more than digital products I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to scroll to the side like that and I'm going to go to filter here and I'm going to filter them by type and I'm going to select digital so now these are all the digital products they sell this one is the first one and I'm really curious to see what product this is I'm going to click on it and I'm going to see the details on the side so this is a journal bundle that generates $120,000 a month. This listing is not that old, so it's just four months old. And as you can see, it's very popular. It's the first selling digital product on Etsy. Let's see the actual product page. It doesn't look that complicated, so I think this can be easily replicated. Let's see what else we have. On the second place, we have a digital planner. This one makes $44,000 a month. This one is an ornament set and it generates $40,000 a month. Of course, these are the most popular products on Etsy. If you have a niche in mind, you can go ahead and include keywords or exclude them and this will filter your list. So if you want to see only planners, you can add here planner. So I have all the products that have planner in the title and they are organized by monthly sales and so on. So you can actually go and use these filters 
to reach products that you actually want to mimic and recreate and you can do this with stores as well so if for example you're thinking of opening a store and you don't know if this niche works on etsy you can go here and look at shop analyzer and this is a new feature they added so now we are seeing all the shops on etsy and they are ordered based on their revenue but we can go again and filter this and because we are looking for digital products we can go and sort for that so i'm gonna go to digital listings here and I, i'm gonna say that i want to have stores that have at least two digital products listed so these are the stores that have at least two digital products listed this one here made 10 million dollars and sells fifty six thousand dollars a month this one here made six million dollars and it sells 128 thousand dollars a month you can again sort these stores by including keywords there maybe you want to sell digital products for kids or you can say here teacher you can look at the stores that pop up and add their stats and one thing you can do is to sort these shops by shop age so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna add maximum 12 months so i want to see here only stores that are created in the past year and here's the list so out of these stores that were created in the past year let's see which ones sell the most digital products and we have here this one over here has 2000 listings so you see that this store over here made less money with more items that means that this store here is selling better than this one so i'm gonna just open this one up and this one is 12 months old so it's just one year old I'm gonna look what items they are selling so we have listings here you can see a bunch of other stuff but you can go to listings and you can see the actual products they are selling listed here and this one is the best selling product they have I'm gonna to scroll to the end and they are all digital products because initially I thought that these are dresses and these are actual clothes but they are not these are digital products and let's see what type of product is this so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna open the best seller up this product makes one thousand dollars a month alone so one thousand four hundred dollars actually and i think i understand this is a sewing pattern so you're gonna get the pattern for creating this dress at home so you can buy your fabric you can buy your thread and you can do it yourself uh, by following the the guide you're gonna get in this pdf and this is actually cool so if you're passionate about fashion you can create a lot of these and you can try and sell them so as you can see you can get ideas for products that you would have otherwise never thought about by just sorting etsy's catalog using everbee this is a great tool that will give you a lot of insight when it comes to digital products if you want to use it you're going to find the link in the description of this video if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I think you are interested in seeing that video next.